What's up everybody, it's Sean here and I'm back today with another New Balance review. So today we'll be taking a closer look at the New Balance 550 in this white and Carolina blue colorway. Today's video is sponsored by the good people from Hefalux. Hefalux is my all time favorite sneaker insoles and they sell ETPU insoles which essentially is the same material they use for Adidas Boost. So if you're looking to add some additional comfort inside your shoes, be sure to check out their website which I've linked down below. You'll see they sell four different insole options, so depending on the type of insole density and the cushioning setup you're looking for, whether that's for a pair of winter boots or for sneakers, you're going to find there's something for everybody. So I've been a paying customer of Hefalux for years now, and I honestly stand by their products. They truly are very comfortable. So if you guys want to check them out and try a pair for yourself, be sure to use the code SEANGO at checkout to get 15% off your entire purchase, and be sure to tell them I sent you. So this is my latest New Balance pickup, which is the New Balance 550 Silhouette, which I'm sure you guys know has been very popular throughout the past couple of years. So this is a general release, meaning it's not a collaboration, and all things considered, it wasn't that difficult to get. So these retail for a price of 110 US dollars, or 150 here in Canada, and the colorway for this shoe is white and Team Carolina, and the style code is BB550HL1. So diving straight into the details of this shoe, the majority of the upper is constructed out of this smooth white leather. So you can see on the toe box we have these dual rows of perforations, and overlaid on top we have another layer of this smooth white leather which is done in this asymmetrical shape. Moving downwards we have more of this white leather, and underneath this there's a secondary layer which is done in this powder blue or baby blue finish. Debossed on top, we have 550 branding done in a combination of light blue and black. And running down the length of the shoe, this panel has this perforated finish all throughout. Next to this, on the mid panel, we have more of that smooth white leather. And inside this, in the middle, we have the New Balance N logo. This is outlined in this blue colored finish, and the logo itself has a bit of this vinyl or plastic like finish to it. Moving downwards, we have more of that smooth white leather, along with this light blue colored nylon. And we see that same blue finish at the very top of the back of the shoe. And underneath this, overlaid on top, we have more of that smooth white leather, but we have the New Balance logo pressed on in a combination of black and blue. For the laces, these come with these flat white colored laces, and this pair only comes with one lace. Underneath this, we have this padded nylon tongue, and at the top we have this large rectangular tag with New Balance 550 branding. So the inside of the shoe and the back of the tongue, this is both lined in this light blue colored nylon, and then taking a look at the insoles, these come with a very thick, very well padded ortholite insole. The top layer is done in this black colored finish. We have New Balance branding stamped on the heel in white. And then on the back half of the insole, we have a secondary layer of foam, which gives you that secondary layer of cushioning. So the upper of the 550 sits atop this solid rubber cup sole, which is done in this slightly off-white colored finish. We have the New Balance word mark and the New Balance logo found on the lateral side. And then surrounding the back of the shoe, we have this heel clip, which gives you added structure and support for the back end of the shoe. And then on the medial side, in between the forefoot and the heel, we have this exposed wedge of foam. Flipping the shoe over to the bottom, so here we have your outsole, which is constructed out of a combination of black, light blue, and off-white colored rubber. We have this circular pivot point on the forefoot, along with New Balance branding running down the middle of the heel. So that breaks down the look and the construction of these 550s. And for those wondering how these fit, so I'm a true size 10, slightly on the wider side, and normally I'm able to go half size down or a 9.5 with the 550 model. But for some reason, I don't know if the leather they use is a bit thicker than normal. So if I compare this to, for example, the Rich Paul 550s, which has much softer leather, that one I was able to go 9.5 no problems, but this one, I could really feel it pinching the sides of my feet. So I feel like if you have narrow or normal width feet, you can definitely go half size down, but I feel like if you have wider feet, you might want to stick true to size. To give you guys a point of comparison, I also go a half size down in other New Balance silhouettes like the 990 V3, V4, V5, the 992, the 998, and normally the 550. And in comparison, I stick true to size for example in models like the 997, the 990 V2, the 1500, the 1530, and most of my 991s. Next up in terms of comfort, so aside from the fact that this fit a little bit too narrow for me, the comfort on the shoe feels the same to me as all my other 550s. It's going to be a bit of a heavier shoe, and it's kind of clunky, however, the very padded insole gives you a ton of comfort, especially underneath the heel. 
With that said though, with this specific pair, I feel like because of the stiffer materials, you definitely have to break these in a lot more. So that's definitely something to consider if you're looking for something that's very comfortable straight out of the box. Finally, in terms of the overall quality and the craftsmanship, so unfortunately, the quality of this leather wasn't the best. It has a very stiff, very rigid feel to it. And while from what I can tell at least, it still is genuine leather, it definitely feels much more synthetic than other of my other 550s, specifically the Rich Pauls and the Aimee Leon Doris. However, those ones are collaborations which make sense. This one, in contrast, is a general release, so it's kind of understandable that they give you a lower grade of material compared to those. Aside from the leather quality though, I thought that the build of the shoe was perfectly fine. I really had no flaws at all with this pair, so at least from a build and craftsmanship standpoint, it was decent. So with all that out of the way now, let's lace these up and I'll show you guys how these look on feet. Quality of materials aside, I feel like the colorway of this shoe is beautiful. White with this Carolina blue will forever go together perfectly, and I think it works really, really well also on this 550 silhouette. I like the fact that it's a predominantly white sneaker, and they just throw on this Carolina blue to give it that added pop and accent, so it makes this shoe a very wearable colorway, and I can see why it's very popular among the sneaker community. So let me know in the comment section down below what you guys think about this Team Carolina or Carolina Blue New Balance 550s. What are your overall thoughts on this colorway? And are you a fan of the 550 silhouette in general, or is it not really your cup of tea? If you guys like this video, be sure to like, comment, and subscribe to this channel if you haven't yet. You can follow me on Instagram at sgo8, check me out on Twitter at sean.go, and visit my website as well at seango.ca. Before I end this video, another huge shout out goes out to the sponsor, so if you guys want to check out Heffalux, links are down below. So thank you guys so much for watching, hopefully you guys enjoy this review, and I'll catch you guys all in my next video.